Hey everyone, Ken Whiting here from Paddle Tales. And in this video, we're gonna talk about paddling in busy waterways and how to do it safely. Before we get started though, please subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already and check out Paddle Tales. It's a web series that goes on incredible paddling adventures to some of the coolest places in the world. There's a link in the description box where you can see it. Um, paddling on busy waterways. Well, when you paddle on a busy waterway, the way I like to think of it, it's kind of like going swimming in shark infested waters. You are immediately entering the food chain at the bottom. Uh, in a kayak, you're slower, you're smaller, you're low profile, you're hard to see. In every way, shape or form, you are at the bottom of the food chain. And you have to appreciate that, not expect the bigger boats to um, accommodate you and to, to move around you. You have to know how they're going to act and act accordingly. Let's start by talking about how the bigger, faster power boats are going to act in a busy waterway. Well, busy waterways typically have um, channels and they have buoys, navigation buoys that mark the channels, the deeper spots where the bigger boat traffic should stick to. And most of it will, maybe the small craft like, like the, the, you know, the sea doos or um, the jet skis will, will meander and that's something to be aware of. But the big boats are going to stick to the deeper channels and the deeper channels are marked by green and red buoys. Now, the way that works, you have to remember the three R's, red, right, returning. And what that means is that when you are returning from the, the ocean, or you're paddling upstream, the, you're returning to the source, the red buoys should be on your right hand side if you're going to be in the main channel. The green buoys will be on your left hand side. So when you flip that around, if you're paddling down a river out to sea, the red buoys will actually be on your left and the green buoys will be on your right. Um, or if you're, you know, out at sea and, and coming into, uh, into a river mouth or a bay, then that's, uh, you'll have a red buoys on your right, green buoys on your left. Three R's, red, right, returning. Knowing that is important, not because we have to stick as paddlers to those channels, quite the opposite. Those are the channels that the power boats are gonna use. So those are the channels that we should avoid altogether. Stay out of those channels. In fact, stay as close to shore as possible when you're in busy waterways because the power boats are not going to be there for the most part. Even though you want to stay out of the main channel, sometimes you need to cross the main channel. And if you do need to cross, just do it quickly. Try to do it perpendicular and stay as a group if you're a group of paddlers to, to uh, avoid creating this long string of paddlers for the power boats to navigate around. Go as a group, get it done as quick as possible, and then continue on. Now the other issue in paddling in busy waterways with big power boats, even small power boats, is boat wake and dealing with that boat wake. Sometimes boats can kick up some pretty significant waves. How do you deal with that as a paddler? Well, in an ideal scenario, you want to hit boat wake at 90 degrees. If you're hitting it at 90 degrees straight on, then you'll be the most stable. Your boat will go up and down, bow to stern, which is very easy to, to accommodate. If you're on an angle when it comes through, you not only go up and down bow to stern, but you'll be rocked side to side, and that's a bit, bit more unstable, and you can even take on some water that way. So boat wake is coming, turn, face it directly, and paddle directly into it. You don't need to paddle hard into it, quite the opposite. Just paddle nice and slow uh, until it passes. There's usually only a few waves, and then you're, you're in the clear again. If you're paddling a canoe or a stand-up paddleboard, this is a great time to drop to your knees. So you're a lot more stable, you have a lot more boat or board control until you're past the wake and then you can hop back up again. The last thing that's worth talking about when paddling in busy waterways is visibility. Even on a bright day, having high visibility colors makes a big difference. So I'd wear bright colors and when the sun is low, dusk and dawn, that time of, of night, having reflective material on your PFD is essential. Most good paddling 
specific PFDs have, uh, have reflective material uh, integrated into it. And so that's, that's already done. You may even, if you spend a lot of time paddling in busy waterways, add reflective material to your kayak and to your paddle as well. The more visible you are, the better. It's surprising, you know, from a boat, a power boater's perspective, how small, insignificant, easy to look over a, a paddler of any type is uh, on the water. You also might want to bring a headlamp. Uh, a headlamp is a great thing if you get caught out a bit longer than, than you're expecting. Plop it on and it's just, another, it's just another way that boaters are going to see you. One of the best ways to have the most visibility on the water is by using something called Yak Attack's Visi Carbon Pole. Now this thing, just keep it in your kayak in one of the hatches or what have you and when you're in low light scenarios you just pop it up. It can be quickly attached to your kayak. There's, a, there's another mount that you get with this so that you, need to, you need to get with this. You can easily attach it to almost any kayak. And then you've got a flag. Just turn the light on and boom. You're highly visible now while you're paddling. It's amazing actually how much more visible you are with just this light and a flag. So there you have it, how to stay safe paddling on busy waterways. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to Paddle TV because we got lots more uh, paddling tips and tricks coming your way and check out the Paddle Tales series. The link's in the description box down below. We'll see you next time for another paddling tip.